I saw the movie. I am in love with it. I love oh, your character. That's great to hear. Yes, it was so beautiful for paying homage and also creating its own path for the future. And in your role, you were so good. Oh, thank you. That's lovely. Now, um, I have to talk a little bit about in the movie, we, we kind of go through this progression of Danny and her evolution to becoming this incredible badass. Can we talk a little bit about when you was in, when you was playing this role, uh, what was it that really gravitated this character to you? Well, I think the whole journey that Danny has along the movie uh, feels a little bit like Natalia's journey <laughs> during this <laughs> movie. Um, you know, it was it was a whole new world for me to just <clears throat> become part of this huge franchise. And you know, it's my I've been acting for a while, but just to be in this Hollywood movie, but a great action movie, but also a Terminator movie, was just really big and overwhelming sometimes. Um, so it was, yeah, I think just someone that has, you know, a normal life to become part of this huge industry and world. So it felt like, like that for Danny, you know, also to have this simple life in Mexico City and suddenly, uh, being the one being chased by a Terminator and not really understanding why she's so important in the future and why this machine wants to kill her and why these two women are, is, are trying to help her. And, you know, it, it's um, a weird, absurd situation that she's trying to understand and, and just uh, she just needs to be strong and brave and, and try and, you know, um, keep going. So I, it felt a little bit like that for me. You know, it was a whole adventure and a great journey, tons of learning and experiences and, and unforgettable moments with, with this legends, you know, that I, I got to work with. So it's just an, a beautiful uh, experience and, yeah, I feel lucky. <laughs> now, how has playing Danny kind of changed you as a person? Or do you feel that it has changed you? Um, mm, I think... It just uh, makes me believe more in, you know, how how it is possible. Like, sometimes we think um, the things we dream are not really, you know, like, possible. And then you just realize, like, mm, they are. They are not as, as impossible, as hard. Of course, it's not easy. You also need tons of, like, um, things to happen around. Mm -hmm. so, so it actually happens. There's luck also, but but I think um, as long as you work for them, you you can make them happen. So I think this just is kind of hope for me, and you know I just feel proud of being part of this movie and of this whole um, moment. Not only the movie or or you know this uh, thing for me as an actor, but also uh, to be part of, of of a moment where you know like things are changing, and I can be part of you know, being one of the main characters of a big Hollywood action movie, being a Latina and being a woman, you know, like, I think it's just a, an important moment. Now, was it a little bit daunting at first when you, when you first got the, when you found out that you got the role to be in this huge action film, to jump from doing TV shows and films in Colombia to now in a, a movie in a franchise as part of the American cinema fabric? Yes, I mean, <laughs> it is a, a big franchise. It is it is something that we all know all over the world. You know, we have, the, we have seen Linda and Arnold and the Terminator, and it's all, it's so universal and iconic and important. Um, but also, like, we just, we just come from Asia, uh, China and Korea, and to actually get to see you know, the fans and the people being so excited about the franchise and, you know, they, they loved the first and the second Terminator and they want that story to continue. So I think that, that that's great about this movie. You know, it has all the ingredients of those classic movies and that great story that James Cameron created 35 years ago. But it also, you know, it has Tim Miller's vision and he, that he's cool and fresh and different and it's so relevant and it's it's 2019 you know so it's it's that perfect balance of both worlds now danny has this 
she's being chased and it's very intense and her life kind of have this sudden change. Were there any kind of techniques as an actress that you used to kind of get into the head of Danny? Um, yeah, I think it was important to, you know, she she has a simple life and at the end, you know, she, she needs to become this person that can fight the Terminator. But what you needed to see from beginning to end was like her strength and and that she was brave, you know, that she was able to. She was not bitter when the movie starts, but she's someone that could, you know, potentially be a leader because she's brave and she says what she thinks and she gets what she wants and she's a go-getter. So, you know, it, it had to be there. And I think it has a lot to do with uh, being Latina. I think that's the goal of being a woman. You know, like, I think we are brave and we are warriors and we know how to you know deal with um difficult situations and we just work hard and we go for what we want and yeah i think that was that was part of that the, the that latino dna that i i feel was important to to put in the character the movie has great moments of kind of this bonding and sisterhood between all three of the actresses was there any kind of down moment, like downtime, where you guys were able to really cultivate that relationship? Was it rehearsal? How did that go? Yes, I, I think we were very lucky. Like, from the very first time we were together, we really loved each other. Like, as soon as I met Linda, I was in love with her, and we truly love each other, and we love um, being together and knowing if we have a premiere or a prize or something, just we love thinking about who we're seeing each other again. <laughs> um, so we were lucky, you know, there were no egos or competition or it was just like we were we were so different. We come from different countries and backgrounds and ages and sizes, you know, we we're so different and just to get together and love each other and support each other and, you know, um, yeah, I think we, we got along really well and, and, and you that was great for the movie. I think you can tell that. Um, and, and it was also great for us that we actually had a great time together. At the end, when everyone sees this, what do you hope people take away from the movie? I hope, well, many things. Um, one, uh, diversity. You know, that this movie is just showing how different Hollywood is now and, you know, that it's, it's changing and it was it was a it was time and and yeah that you know like feel proud of having this movie that is diverse and just shows like this all different kind of characters that are not a stereotype or a cliche and um, also I think we just need to think about yeah this is a science fiction movie I don't think it's science fiction anymore um, it's entertainment it's Hollywood it's an action movie but I think it can give you a message and we just need to start thinking about uh, our relationship with technology. How are we going to protect um, humanity, not against the machines, but just like how are we going to collaborate with them? How are we going to use technology and not let technology use us? Thank you so much for speaking with me. No, thank you. Have a great day.